What's up, everybody? It's the penultimate day of our Wordle challenge for 26 days, and today we've got to start with Yappy. This is going to be a scary one. Yappy could be quite trappy, but we get an A, which is okay. Um, let's put it third, maybe. Or we could, or we could test them in two locations. The best way to do that might be like here and here. You know, it's funny. Um, we tried this uh, the other day. Um, let's go with Axial. Okay, not bad. And there's two of them. Wow. Okay, that's actually a, not a terrible guess. There's two A's. How about that? Um, we'll try this first. I mean, aware wouldn't be a bad guess. I'm a little nervous about some traps going on here, but let's try aware. Okay, so we fixed our A. Um, we've had a back. That would fit nicely, but we did have it. How about... Um, uh, it wouldn't be adage, because we don't have the E. A foot, a foul. Ah. Uh, a mass. I think we got it, guys. I think we can get it on the fourth guess. Did we get a mass in four? Yep, we did. Okay, not bad. I'm okay with that. That's actually kind of a hard word. And I was a little nervous about yapping, but we got it. Guys, guess what? Tomorrow is going to be Z. Sadly, hate to disappoint you, but there's no word that both begins and ends with the D. So we're going to have to settle with still another backbreaker starter word. Zhuzh. Z-H-U-Z-H. There it is in all its glory. So let's give that a shot for tomorrow, guys. And I'm going to be uh, reading assiduously through the comments to find who came up with the best... Um, next challenge. It could be for any period of time, something longer than a week though I think would be preferable, and with some sort of a theme. So for instance, last month we did Aranye's NATO alphabet challenge, which is pretty cool. This month was the 26 days of honoring every letter, both at the beginning and the end. So come up with something else, okay? And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of A Whittle. What's up everybody? I think we'd all agree that yesterday's strains was absolutely delightful. Uh, who couldn't resist having fun with all those delightful little uh, pooches? Today, we're on board. So you, it could be like, you know, you're in agreement if you're on board. Um, you could be on the board of a company, um, but it could also be on board like an airplane. Which one are they going to go with, do you think, guys? Um... on board. Just trying to trying to survey what's going on here. No, not too many unusual letters, if any. Just sort of the K, maybe the V. Um, track. On board. Um, uh, 
alive. I mean, who's on board? It's called that's called a manifest. That would be a spectacular span gram, but unfortunately, this is the only M. But there's no way that you could create that word. Hmm. Surface. I don't think that could work because what's going on with the TI in the left corner? Do you know what I mean? Although it could, it could be it. Uh, I'll try surface now. Nah. Okay. I didn't think so. Shoot. This is tough. I just don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Surf. Okay. Surf actually makes sense. So maybe these could be sports that deal. Oh, these could be sports that deal with the board. Okay. I think we're onto something here. So now I'm looking for like skate, skateboard. I don't really see it, but surf is great. No, it's still it's not surf because I still it doesn't make sense either because of this IT here is doesn't really go anywhere. Ah, come on. Um shoot, what's going on here? Okay. Um craft. I'm gonna take a hint. I have a feeling this could take forever if I don't get a hint. What? What the heck is this word? Brie? Okay. Are we talking about cheese? Brie would be a cheese. Olive. Wow, this is weird. On board. This might be one of those ones, guys, where you have to explain it to me afterwards. Crep. So, okay, salami. Okay, so these are things, I guess, that are typically served on a board. <laughs> kind of weird, um, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Nuts. Crackers. Nutcracker. Uh, Okay, there's Cracker. All right. Um, okay, there's a weird word going on down there. Um, fruit. Yeah, and obviously our spangram. Okay, so it has to have an R there. Charcuterie. There we go. That's a tough one. Uh, and then we're going to have um, spread. Okay. Eh, so, so. <laughs> I mean, okay. Technically, yeah, those are all on the board, but yeah, I was completely misdirected. Charcuterie. Wow, that's a good French word. That's good for a spelling test, huh, guys? Um, I mean, I sort of think I, I had it with the brie. That was, you know, a decent clue. 
Because, you know, cheese and... Whoa, that was tough, though. I'll take, you know, the hint. I'm glad I did, because that would have taken me forever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you thought about this one. And, of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Starrands. What's up, everybody? It's time for Connections. Let's play it. We're on um, Monday. No, we're on Tuesday. Tuesday, May 14. Let me just double check. Yes, indeed. Oof. Yo, Shady, Fit, Ella, Jim, Plan, Me, Outline, Sketch, Feast, Draft, Dine, Sup, Sus, Feed, Pickings. Uh, possibly some slang with Sup, Sus, Yo. Okay, so we'll see about that. Oh, but Shady, Sus, Sketch. Uh, that's kind of close. Something that's kind of, you know, a bit dodgy, you could say. I don't see the fourth one, though. A sketch, a plan, an outline, and a draft. Now, that I like. Those would all be um, uh, ways to get um, your writing started. Early iteration, okay? But it, it, all those apply to writing, so I think we're okay with that. All right. Um, I mean, you can dine, you can feast, you can feed on something, and you can... I, th I don't see... I mean, pickings is sort of like but pickings I don't know about that that's weird <clears throat> yo may Asia and I been thinking do we have some Spanish words here yo may Asia a ¿Cuál es la otra palabra? Me, yo, ella, y... <laughs> That's too bad. That that was that could have been some Spanish. Uh, I don't think it's quite there, though. Dine? Possibly. Ella. 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 Yo, me... I'm still stuck on this. These are Spanish. These are Spanish pronouns. Ah, uh, so anyways, uh, shady, sus. That kind of, yeah, we got rid of sketch, so I'm not sure what would go there. Crossfit. Fitness. Fit, uh, Fitbit, I think, is a special watch that you can get to keep track of your calories and the steps you took. Ella me yo. Darn it, that's really annoying. But there, there's really not another. Supper, diner. Yeah, supper and diner. Sus padres. Oh, maybe this is it. Mis padres, tus padres, 
sus padres. I think that is, I think these are Spanish pronouns. Yes, all right. Good, good, good. Okay, I just really feel good about that. I knew we had it. I knew we had it. Okay, uh, and that's blue. I'm actually thankful. I don't care about the order. Uh, blue is like that. You get rid of the blue, you have a fighting chance. I don't know. I mean, could we, should we go back to feast, dine, feed? And maybe sup is the new slang lingo for to have like supper. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll take it. Enjoy a meal. And then we've got purple. Slim picking, slim gym, slim fit, slim shady. Hmm. Now, I'm tempted to go with it. I'm not sure about slim shady, but slim sounds good. Boom. All right. I, but man, guys, that was, that was really good. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, that was really, really good. And that played perfectly for me. Because as you guys know, I really do love languages. Uh, I would probably say my, uh, after our beloved um, Queen's English, <clears throat> my three favorite languages are going to be French, Spanish, and of course I have to say Russian, because after all, my better half is Russian. So, oh my gosh, that's Spanish pronouns, but the sus was really tricky because I kept thinking of sus, and, you know, it's a, it's a possessive pronoun, whereas ella, me, yo are just standard, um, like either subject or um, direct object pronouns. In any case, I'm really, really happy with that. That was fantastic. No errors, and we got all the categories. We did not obviously get the time, and we didn't get the order. There's no style involved, but I don't care. I'm just super happy with that. And finally, I got a purple. I've been stumped on quite a few purples for like the past week. That's an easy one, though. Um, the only one that I just don't really know about is the Slim Shady. But the way I see it, if you can identify three out of the four, just go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed Sherry results. And, of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.